Gone with the Wind, and I'm not talking about the 1930s movie. Turns out some thrill seekers in Billings are embracing the power and flying with the wind. I like the freedom of it. It's just, it's kind of a sport that's not real popular. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can take it as far as you want. Just the freedom. I mean, it's it snowboarded for a long time, but it's just not... I know it's just different with the natural element, the wind. and There are a few different kiting sports, but snow kiting and kite surfing are probably the most popular. And for this time of year, it's all about the snow. But don't be fooled by the grace of these giant kites. The wind isn't always forgiving. It's kind of a touch and go sport. It uh, can be good and it can go wildly wrong at times, but, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of fun? Well then snow kiting is right up my alley. Time to give it a try. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. All right. I'll just pull left. Left? Left. Okay. Now right again. Right Whoa! Again. <laughs> All right. Round two. Left. <laughs> Imagine what this would be like on skis. <laughs> I think there's quite a learning process that goes along with kiting. Whew. Okay, after getting dragged across the field, falling a few times, <laughs> and feeling the burn. This is a workout for your arm. I soon develop a deep respect for these athletes, and holy cow, their wrecks are far worse than mine. I have had a few wrecks, and the bad thing about it is when you do crash, you're trying to keep your kite flying straight, and unfortunately, you're spinning and tumbling up and down and until your kite stops, you don't stop. When you go up higher than what you want to and unexpectedly <laughs> or get drug, I've had a few hurt incidents, so, but you, I guess you learn from your mistakes. It can be rough, wrecks can be tough, but you just get up and go again. So that's exactly what I did. Ready? Oh yeah. There is some overhead cost when it comes to gear, but both Hanson and Dvorak insist riding with the wind is totally worthwhile. It's definitely worth it once you get into it though, for sure. Definitely I can see myself sticking with this one. It's a good creative sport. I take vacations at plans around kiting of some sort. So. <laughs> now I think it's a bit premature for me to start planning my vacations around this activity, but it is definitely an adventure worth trying. And one of these days, some skis or board will find their way under my feet. If I can stay on them, that is. In Billings, I'm Angela Douglas for Montana's News Station.